What do we got going on in the news? Uh, let me Anything bring it up. Good? I have some, well, actually, no, some sad stuff, unfortunately. No. Have you been hearing about, this is really awful, actually, the Astroworld Festival? Yes, I'm just about oh, to bring this. Travis it's, Scott, right? Yeah. It's oh. Really scary. You heard about this? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. So basically, Astroworld Festival just happened. Yeah. And Let's fill people in and what, and what happened. Yeah. So the, the thing is, there's still details coming in. <laughs> so it's really hard to know exactly what happened, but it looked like there was mass crowd crushing and um eight people have died and like something like 200 people are injured Ugh. yeah it's really it's really eight it's like the my people. worst nightmare just and there's they're still trying to work out what happened but there's different sources coming in some people are saying that people stormed the venue so people were getting without tickets that's so what i heard too many people two apparently they were way um unprepared for injuries and medical staff they always are, but always way. are. Three, the crowd control was just not there, like really negligent. And you have to, and it's all down to crowd control. Like I don't think you can blame the people going to the festival for these kind of things because it really is crowd control. Um, there's been awful videos I saw on today of some young girl, and she is young. She's like 21 or something, and she, my stomach's doing it again. I should have eaten. She climbed up to where the like videographer or the cinematographer is filming what's going on. And she's saying like, you have to stop the concert. People are dying. And he basically is like, get off the stage. No. Yeah. Yeah. That he he basically, he's like, get off. You shouldn't be here. Oh, and she's like, and she's like, please like help us. Like people are, that someone's dead. And he's like, get off, get off the stage. I'm working. Like that's the kind of attitude. Oh my, if that's the case. That's what was happening. It's awful. And then the, there was another video of, um, that's like a, a, uh, such a like a ambulance car or a police car trying to get through the crowds and people are jumping on it. Like, it's just, it's just, awful and you know th th this is something that we have to face this is something that modern life does not take responsibility for social responsibility yes. has been the bedrock of civilization well, that's what from they're the saying. dawn of fucking time they're saying like how could this guy just like like walk go home like or like get off the stage like and, and people were like trying to signal to the people on the concert who are running like stop stop this concert like this is something's going on and they were basically like Shh, like stop it you're you know go away Maybe it's because we raise a bunch of narcissists, you know? Maybe it's because people don't realize what having like an inner church dealing with people should be like. I just hope that guy who like told us to get off the stage really feels bad today and is like really thinking about his actions and what he's doing in life. Maybe he isn't, you know? Because how many times has this, something like this happened to where yeah, you would think I the mean, reality check would be universal? Thank right? God this hasn't happened a lot on concert. This is the, one of the worst examples of it. Not that it makes it any better, but this is just, I mean, it's horrific. If you look at the videos, I was getting like icky just watching them. It's its really sad. I mean, crowd crowds are no joke. I hate crowds. Yeah. I Today is the, the New York Marathon. Oh. And I was thinking about this walking over. I couldn't think of anything worse. I hate crowds. And it's because they are really, really dangerous when they're not managed well. Yeah, especially now with like COVID. Not even COVID. The, the, the physical dangers of, of so many people in a space not being controlled. I mean, when people die because of this kind of thing, it's, yeah, people die because of this kind of thing. Yeah. And you yeah, should, you people should did. never have to go to a concert and worry about your safety. Yeah, you know, definitely that's true. And I, I really wonder as more stuff comes out about this, like one, who's going to take responsibility? Mm -hmm. Two, are we going to find out more things about this concert being negligent? About of course, of course you the are. Signs. They're going to find reasons. It's just, that it's I mean, I just can't imagine how scary it must have been to, been that, to be there. You know what's the gross part there. about this, though? Is the way responsibility is taken now is they find one person to cancel. Yep, and they'll do that. And then they try to fight the corporate arm mm -hmm. when the reality may be, and I'm not saying this is true, I wasn't there, but maybe the reality is everyone in that concert was more concerned about their experience than those that were being injured in the process. Well, see, this is the thing. I don't That's think you, you think. can blame the like 19, 20, 21 year olds at the concert. I think you have to- Of course to. you can. Well, I, you I, should, I think we should. The fact that we can't blame them, I think is the exact problem. Well, no, because I don't think it's their fault. I'm not saying we can't blame them. I'm saying you cannot blame concert goers. There's all these people online who are like, I feel so guilty, I was there. Like, no, you went to a music concert. The fact that they put too many people in the area, that was mismanaged, that they didn't stop the concert when they knew stuff was going on, that there was health and safety issues, like that's right. what's to blame. That's it's true. not some young kid yeah. who went to a concert to have fun and now feels 
like survivor's guilt. Right. But I heard people were seeing people fall down, getting trampled on, and they still pushed to the front of the concert. Yeah. That, there was, those are the there stories was, that I heard that they were, they were, people were witnessing and that it shook them because they realized that no one cared. Well, there was the article I was reading and some person fainted because of the crowd and yeah. was like crowd surfed to a safe area, revived. And I think they were either like EMT or they had some medical training and they were doing CPR on people. And they said that the, the people that were at the concert had no medical training, like the medical staff didn't know what they were doing. They said they saw teenagers trying to do CPR on people to help out because they didn't oh know what to do. God. Like these poor kids were trying to help out as best they could because they were completely understaffed. They said they didn't have any of like the emergency medical bags they have. You know, those bags that you're supposed to have. They didn't have enough of those. So this poor person had fainted, been luckily crowd surfed to safety, revived, and now spent the rest of the evening trying to save people. Like it's just a mess. The whole thing is just awful. It's really, really sad. God, that's... <sighs> Yeah. It just breaks your heart to hear that because can you imagine having your kid just go off to a concert and not coming home? Because That's what I mean. They it's, got crushed. Like what? It's horrible. It's but, really hard. I mean, and how, here's, here's the thing. How did this not happen during the Rolling Stones? How did this not happen during a Led Zeppelin concert? Probably because of crowd control and better stuff. And how did this not happen in Woodstock? Right? The, mo the most unmanaged concert of all time. Yeah. It just, I don't know. Like, I don't want to blame anybody, right? Because well, we're going to so find quick, out more stuff as it comes out. Like, this just happened, and we're going to be finding out more information. As but here's my this. problem. We're finding out, quote, unquote, more stuff about this Alec Baldwin thing. And half of uh, it is bullshit. Half of it coming out is total bullshit, where they're just trying to point the blame at somebody so that everyone's avoiding liability, right? Like, everyone jumped on Alec Baldwin being the cause, but you and I know from being on sets yeah. and every actor alive knew that you that can't was bullshit. for that, no. Right. He was, Two he people was, cleared the gun. Yeah, that's Two, what I mean. Cold gun. That's so, the term, right? Cold gun. With the Alec Baldwin thing, I feel everyone knows. We don't have to just screen it. Just we should just it. explain it. Well, basically, it was on the set of the movie Rust. He was on set. He was given a gun, a prop gun, and he was told cold gun. And cold gun means safe, no live ammo. Like, right. no live ammo. And he fired it and horrifically something came out. There was a projection and um, it killed, it injured someone and it killed the, uh, the, the DP or the cinematographer. It shot both. It shot killed both. The DP. Oh, which is just so <sighs> it's been a bad week for this kind of stuff. It's really sad. I mean, I feel so bad for Alec Baldwin. I do too. I can't imagine having to live with that the rest of your life. The poor man, you know, and I hear he's actually a really nice guy, you know, like he's assertive. He's assertive. Yeah. From what I heard, he's assertive, but I hear he's like really heartbroken and torn up. I'm sure you, anyone would be with a decent heart. But you can't avoid this shit. You know, it's just, it's the messiness of people, you know, and you get the beauty and the clash and all of that with humanity, but you also get this kind of shit. But this is, this is why I really think ethics needs to be reintroduced. We right? did ethics in school. I did ethics in high school. I, did you have an ethics in high school? Or was it more like this is philosophy and then well, it whatever? Well, was, it was ethics in the sense they didn't tell us like, this is how you be ethical. They taught us ethics as in like different, like we did utilitarianism. Yeah. We did, yeah, like, you know, but again, it was a, a uh, do we need to pause for tech stuff? We good? Oh, good. Okay. It was a, um, what's the word? What do you use in America? An elective? Like I, you chose to do it. It wasn't a mandatory. It needs to be mandatory. I think it, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it needs to be mandatory. It be mandatory. Shut your mouth. No, it should. It really should because we, we're, okay. The whole point of religion was to do that, right? To, to instill, quote, it wasn't a good job done in my opinion, you know? I almost became a pastor, but obviously. We're going to go into that one day. We'll have a podcast where you talk about your past life as a pastor because I'm so interested. Yeah, but religion is supposed to do that, right? To instill core values in you in order for you to do the golden rule mm. for your entire life, right? Like treat others the way you want to be treated, right? These are the things we learn in religion. Mm. But now that we've become so secular as a nation, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? Like freedom of religion and all that, mm. right? Totally agree with that. But having some sort of code is what's missing. Because what is the code now? Money over everything. Just don't be a douchebag. 
money over everything. No, be a douchebag because it makes you millions of dollars on YouTube. In fact, I'm going to go be a douchebag and be a boxer and I'm going to make 30 times more. If you became all. a douchebag, I don't think I'd be your friend anymore. No, you wouldn't. Say. That's why we're friends. Yeah. Right. But I'm just saying humanity in general, they have this concept where they could be a total jerk to people and then exploit it for views. And, you know, it works. It works, yeah. right? And we don't have these ethics, right? Like what would happen if everyone in that concert band together and stop the things from happening? How well, many people? This is another thing we're talking about crowd control, right? One, that, I'm it? sure there'd be one person out there who was like, stop guys. But when you're in a crowd of thousands and thousands and thousands, what is one, or like what is a handful of voices? It Crowd management's really hard. I mean, look at people who, again, we're going back to the Bible, right? This is a very biblical episode. When Jesus was being tried, they have a whole passage about how people went into the crowd and riled up the crowd and said, free Barabbas. Yeah, yeah. Barabbas was another person being tried at the same time. I think he was a, a murderer. He was a murderer and, on trial. And they went through and they were like, free Barabbas. And they got the crowd riled, riled up to say free Barabbas so he could be freed. Yeah. And that's when Pontius Pilate went, all right, whatever the crowd wants. Like, yeah, you know.